This is a video demonstration of the Transact's QuickBooks module batch processing feature. Batch processing allows merchants to process many transactions for many customers at one time. To utilize this feature, simply click on Customers menu, roll over Transacts, and select Run Batch. When our dialog box opens, you'll be presented with a number of options in order to filter the list of customers. First, you can take a look at their modification date, meaning, uh, for instance, when that customer was created, so all new customers created last week. You could also look at the invoice date, meaning the date the invoice was created, and then also the due date, uh, which is there referring to the date payment is due. You can also filter customers based on preferred payment method. If you don't enter any of this criteria and simply click the filter button, it will pull up a list of all customers that match two criteria. One is that they owe money, and two is that they have a safe ID on file. A safe ID means that the customer has previously provided payment information, whether credit card or ACH, and that information is safely stored inside Transact's gateway. In order to, to modify the list of customers even further, you can check uh, the boxes on the right-hand side to remove them from the batch if you would like. There's also select all and select none functions at the bottom to make that process a little faster in the case of long lists. We can also modify the amount that's owed. So here the Chicago Bears owe $935. We could make a partial payment of simply $35. The balance that is shown initially is the total amount owed across all of the customer's open invoices. If we make a partial payment, what QuickBooks will try to do is uh, find an invoice for that dollar amount, and if it finds an invoice with a matching dollar amount, it will pay that invoice first. If it doesn't find a match on the dollar amount, then it will pay the amount paid to the oldest open invoice first and apply any balances to other invoices moving forward. Once you have the list set the way that you'd like, all you have to do is click Run Batch. It will loop through each of these transactions individually and in real time. It takes about two to three seconds per customer to run the transaction, and you'll see a mini dialog box here of that activity as it's processed. Here it shows that we had a total of two records and two successes. To take a closer look at that, we can close that menu and go to Transacts again under the Customers menu and select View Batch Reports this time. In the upper right, we'll see there's a drop-down menu with all of our batches listed by a time and date stamp. And if we select that, it will show us in more detail exactly which happened for each row, uh, which is each, to say each transaction. If we click the Show File button, what that will do is show us the same information in an Excel spreadsheet so that you could crunch numbers in a different way or import this data into another system uh, as you see fit. Additionally, uh, what we can do is uh, take a look at the customer's uh, records and we'll see that the payments were processed in real time, but then also payment records were generated and applied to the customer's account. So here we see that Jacqueline Smith now has a zero dollar balance because her payment was rendered in full. For more information about the QuickBooks batch processing feature from Transacts Gateway, please contact your Transacts Gateway sales representative.